it brings us full circle and it kind of just says when we were talking about some of these processes there is a place we started with treatment but here we're talking much more about larger statutory services there's a place when they just need to own up and say this isn't our remit the system doesn't work and and more generally in the biggest social sense what you and i are talking about is they need to give it back to the community and more narrowly what we're talking about in the drug and alcohol and treatment world is they just need to hand this over to the peers from the recovery yeah um you, you know and, and but yet somehow as you say this there's this bigger system of uh, rules and procurement that you know doesn't help recovery that, that yeah, that's me being very polite yes yeah um, yeah no and, again i think it's just it's just another layer of, of, of bureaucracy i think i mean yeah. i can i can see the i can see the the paradox for for particularly practitioners within treatment services because people turn up or present at treatment services with addiction and they've contracted it through being around other addicts and other other people and using blah blah yeah, blah. Of course. And then basically what we're saying is get them clean and sober and then give us give them back to us. But we're now different people. We sit over here and yeah. And again, it's, I mean, it's the, it's the weirdest thing that you, again, we talk, sort of talk about, touched on before with recovery communities. It's the most genuine, probably one of the only examples you ever get of a genuinely altruistic society. Altruistic, yeah. where we don't want anything from from anybody. We just want you to get well. But And we'll literally give you the, the, the shirt off our back and, and we'll do anything for it, for each other to, to because we know that just but, sometimes, like you said before, though, that offer of a flatjack or that yeah. flask of soup <laughs> could be the bit that could do all that stuff. But we, we're all liars, cheats, and thieves. You know. So I love that bit. And what you've described to me is the most beautiful image for for the people watching this film. That actually some of the practitioners in the middle. What what we're trying to encourage them to do is, yeah, help this person get out of this group of addicts. Spend five minutes with you, relatively speaking, yes, and then I want you to dump them for the rest of their life with a different group of addicts, yes. <laughs> 